Hey guys, it's Di and it is that time again. So I am headed back to Walt Disney World and this time I'm going to the 50th anniversary celebration. I'm super excited to be there on the day that kicks off the celebration and really the first day of pretty much a year and a half full of fun activities. So I'm gonna be trying lots of treats, doing lots of fun things and sharing that all in the upcoming vlogs. And I've got to get my clothing packed for what I'm bringing on the trip. So you can see I'm starting to get things laid out down here. It's a lot of shoes for a shorter trip and it's a lot of outfit changes for a shorter trip, but I'm gonna be taking a lot of different photos inside and there's a number of different activities that I need different outfits for. So come along as I get everything packed. And in fact, I needed some additional outfits, so I actually made some last minute purchases on Amazon. So real quick before I start the actual packing, I'm gonna go ahead and try these and hopefully both these dresses work great. So the official colors are a blue color and gold color and of course lots of iridescent, so you notice lots of sparkly things on this trip, including my fingernails. But I also got these two blue dresses. This one is a shift dress and this one is a short sleeve kind of wrap dress and so hopefully these will be great for pictures where I want a blue dress. So here is a little sneak peek of the two blue dresses. I absolutely love them and you'll get to see what those look like when I am at Walt Disney World. So this is a shift dress with some really great sleeve detail and I got that in a navy blue and then this one is just a v-neck kind of cross cinch dress and they both look really really great on so i'm excited about wearing these and i will share those in the disney videos so i'm going to start getting everything folded up and then my plan is for this trip since it's not going to be a terribly long trip i'm just there for a couple of days i'm going to try to do a carry-on on the way there uh, but you know how that goes sometimes we have to upsize the uh, suitcase because i do want to bring a lot of shoes with me so we'll see how i get everything to fit here so out of my office, I also grabbed some of the accessories I'm going to bring with me. I have this little emergency travel bag that I'm going to put in there. Some of my camera supplies and this small see-through bag. I always have a lanyard with a clip on there to put my camera on when I'm doing travel vlogs. And then also for Disney, I like using these canvas lounge fly bags, so I'm bringing that one with me. And then I have a couple things that I actually made. And this is the So Magical Cosmetic and the I'm All Ears shirt. I'm going to wear that with a purple skirt. And my So Magical Tote, which I also made dual purpose and I put 50 ears on the other side. So I'm super excited about these because I made these and I'm going to make so much stuff with my Cricut when I get back. It is not even funny. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting all of this stuff put away in the suitcase and I cannot wait to start taking pictures and wear all of these fun things around the theme parks and when we're going to different meetups it should just be a great time. You're probably going to notice if you watch some of my packing videos in the past that this is going to go down a little bit differently and because I'm trying to fit most of my stuff into this carry-on I'm actually just rolling clothes up and trying to stuff it around the shoes and I am planning on bringing this suitcase and then also one backpack as my carry-on. Now, I'm also planning on buying stuff when I'm there. So there may possibly be the situation where I need to buy another suitcase while I'm there and then just bring the souvenirs home in it. We will approach that once we get there because I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to buy and whether it will be big items or not. It might just be small items that can just get tucked down around. So I really want to get there and kind of see whether it's just going to be like a shirt and some ears or if it's really going to be, you know, like bigger items. Um, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can in this one suitcase and I'm hoping to at least fly down with only a carry on. So that's the plan right now. Um, so I've put these two pairs of shoes here. I've got my swim clothes here, undergarments here, some extra leggings and some extra jeans right here. And then I'm gonna start folding up all the t-shirts and try to put them over there. But I also have to leave some room for my toiletries, which I will put in here in the morning. So I think I've about got everything in. So I have just my tote folded up in half, a belt I'm planning on wearing with dresses, some undergarments, pajamas, swimsuit, leggings, extra pair of shoes. And I'm just gonna tuck that down inside of there. I also have a pair of sparkly kind of more heels that I won't be walking around the parks in, but I will wear for some pictures. 
my park bag, which I'm going to pack. I have all of my t-shirts and skirts folded up here and then I've left a spot at the top for all of my toiletries. So this is going to be pretty much it. We'll see how many bags I end up coming back with and hopefully you enjoy coming along on packing for my solo adventure to go to Walt Disney World. I will be bringing you some vlogs of everything that I do while I'm there. I have some fun things planned. There's some meetups planned. I'm hopefully going to see some social media people I haven't seen in quite some time. And so it's just going to be a big celebration. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.